Wisconsin has been hit hard in these tough economic times. Too many workers are looking for a job. Too many families are struggling to get by. In these tough times, people expect their leaders to offer honest plans and straight talk. That's why I'm running for governor, to create jobs, expand opportunity and prosperity for everyone in Wisconsin, and turn around Wisconsin's economy. In listening to folks around Wisconsin, it's clear that people and businesses throughout the state are looking for a governor who will be a full partner with them in economic recovery and growth. And they want a governor with a clear and specific plan to help create jobs and get Wisconsin working. Our immediate goal is to regain the 180,000 jobs that we have lost during this economic downturn. That's what I propose today, a comprehensive vision to create Wisconsin jobs. It focuses on initiatives that spark job creation immediately to help Wisconsin's workers and families weather today's economic storms, as well as smart, long-term economic growth and development strategies to ensure that Wisconsin's economy tomorrow will be strong and vibrant. Number one is targeting tax cuts to help spur private sector job growth. We must make sure that the tax cuts that we have and other incentives for businesses are directly linked to creating and retaining jobs in the state of Wisconsin. I'll focus on increasing research and development expenditures as well as patent and software royalties to encourage development of the products of the future right here in Wisconsin. We'll work to create venture capital and angel investments to ensure that Wisconsin entrepreneurs have the capital they need to launch new businesses. We're going to work to make sure that investments in biofuels, green buildings, and other new technologies are there because we all know we need to lower our energy costs, achieve energy independence, and make us more competitive in the industries of the future. And of course, we'll invest in farming. We'll invest in dairy production and processing and farming co-ops to preserve the traditional backbone of our communities. So that brings me to the second point. Our immediate goal is to bring back the jobs Wisconsin has lost in this global recession. That's why my plan includes a Jobs Now initiative that will start immediately to provide the kinds of assistance and incentives that businesses need to create jobs quickly such as cutting red tape to get new construction projects going, projects that are needed for our long-term economic vitality, investing in the workforce, training and skills development that will track new economic activity and translate into new job opportunities. We'll create a proactive rapid response team. In addition to rapid response teams to assist those losing jobs to plan closings, we want to have a proactive rapid response team that will be developed to quickly provide services to companies looking to expand. That team will be charged with fast-tracking regulatory and permit issues, job training needs, and economic development assistance. And we will create a business-to-business -business connector. Wisconsin will partner with the business community to create a business-to-business -business connector database to encourage more Wisconsin suppliers and more sales for Wisconsin businesses. Third, we plan on putting the job creation directly in the governor's office. The governor is the key person in this state who can align all of the state's economic development tools around the shared goal of creating, attracting, and retaining jobs. And let's face it. The governor is the best possible cheerleader, salesperson, ambassador for business growth in Wisconsin. We all know that you don't sell a house, you don't sell a guitar, you don't sell a car by talking about how lousy it is. You talk about how great it is. And we need a governor who is going to be proud of the state and is going to want to sell the state to people who live here and around this country. I want to be that governor. Fourth. We'll work to overhaul and streamline the state's entire economic development toolkit to make it more efficient and effective. As governor, I will order an immediate and complete performance review of all economic development programs to identify those that work and eliminate those that don't. If a program works, we're going to put more meat on the bone. If it doesn't, we're going to get rid of it or we're going to fix it. And it's critical for the state to play its role effectively and then get out of the way and let businesses do what they do best, and that is conduct business. Fifth, and this is important, we will work to create a state venture capital fund. We all know one of the frustrations that businesses have in the state of Wisconsin is lack of access to capital. I've heard it over and over again. 
Some of it is tied to the economic downturn. Some of it is tied to, tied to our geographical location. But we know that Wisconsin needs more venture capital if entrepreneurs hope to create the kind of good paying, family supporting jobs and new business opportunities that will transform our economy to compete in the 21st century. The Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Fund would commit up to $100 million to eight to 10 venture capital funds over five years. Funds that would be required to raise at least $500 million in aggregate funds and commit to offices, staff, and investments right here in the state of Wisconsin. This fund would then leverage the entrepreneurs who have great ideas and boundless energy, but just lack the basic seed money to get things started. This is my vision to create jobs in the state of Wisconsin. Implementing this plan will put Wisconsin back on the road to recovery to regain the 180,000 jobs lost in this recession. I am eager to implement this plan on day one of my administration and get Wisconsin working again.